I'm Ben Kelly and I'm a level designer at Epoch Games. Today I'm going to be showing off a tool I made to help block out the design of the caves in Lays of Althus on the Order. Remember the block out is just a first iteration of a level so what I'm showing you now is behind the scenes footage and doesn't indicate the quality of the final game. So the tunnel tool is a Houdini digital asset which is a bespoke tool that I made in Houdini and brought into Unreal Engine and it allows us to start blocking out tunnels. It's controlled uh, by these curve points and if I show you now I just grab it and very quickly I can start moving these around uh, to start generating a tunnel system and then these can just grow and grow and grow and become vast and very quickly allows us to block out a large cave system. Some games suffer from caves that are flat and just built like a maze of rooms and this is often because level designers are restricted to working with static geometry uh, or a library of already made pieces kind of like building with a Lego set and we wanted to get away from that and make our caves as organic and unique as possible. A tunnel section on its own is a good start but we needed something more flexible to allow for junctions and so I added a second curve in you can see this here and if I go ahead and activate that now we then have a boolean operation that allows a second piece to neatly connect to the first one. And with this, we can create any amount of complexity we like. If I spin over to a cave I've been working on here, we can see a variety of different junctions. And at the beginning of the cave, we have a switchback area. And all this is only possible because we have those junction pieces in place. So the orange floor isn't just there to look interesting. It actually serves quite an important function and the orange floor indicates the angle a player can successfully walk up. So if I start making the cave really steep, you can see straight away the floor goes grey and that means the player can't walk there. This allows us to make sure that we're bearing in mind where a player can actually go as you block out tunnels and don't make them too steep. Obviously tunnels come in a variety of different shapes and sizes, so with the tool we can very quickly change to a different profile and we have a number of these to choose from, so we have a sharp profile we can see here. Uh, we have a squared one, so something that might be more like a mine, uh, more man-made, and a dome, for example, as well, which is a very classic cave design. Beyond this, we have noise controls that allow us to go from a very smooth cave all the way to something extremely jagged. We can control the ramp, and that means that we have control over the size of the cave all the way along, uh, which again allows for more interest and variety in the shapes. So with Collision built into the tool, once the designer has built out a system that he or she is happy with, all they need to do is position the player spawn anywhere inside the cave, press play, and they can immediately go for a run through and test it out. Tools like this are invaluable for quick iteration and speed, and will allow us to build the immersive experiences and dynamic levels that will be a key part of the game. 